Hello everyone, my name is Leanne Furness. I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Rochester, Minnesota, USA. I have been a demonstrator for 23 years and I'm always learning something new and I'm always trying to get um, you excited about new things and techniques and that sort of thing. And a technique is hard to do in a buffet, which is my favorite kind of class to offer. However, I decided I'm gonna have a, a technique featured in each buffet um, and I will record a video on how to do that said technique. So if you can't get to the to the buffet, you can still learn something. Um, I'm going to be coming live more than you probably want me to. Careful what you ask for, people. Um, today is February 10th, 2023. February is running by, I tell you. So we're going to go ahead and get to this camera that you really want to see the products with. Um, and so while I'm doing this, I want you to um, remember that I am always op open, whoops, open for um, ideas of things you want me to talk about because there's uh, just so much. So today's technique is called faux silk. And so if you can see this layer here, okay, so I, I'm playing with the new camera which is really super fun, not? Um, so I'm trying to find continuous for one time. I want one time. So, cause I think continuous is like, it's gonna make you guys all seasick or something. I don't really know. Anyway, so for some reason this seems dark and I don't like that. Oh, technology, you're so fun. All right, so here's the card again. Um, I'm just going to put that over here so you can see it. And when you come to my buffets, what happens is you get, you pick a card. Everything you need for that card is in an envelope like this. Everything. And so you just take the box that has all of the products in it that we're going to use today. And we're going to go ahead and um, see what's in this envelope. It's kind of fun. So you will find your card base, which is um, smoky slate, and it is a typical card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and then scored at four and a quarter. And so I'm going to use my scoring bone folder just to kind of make that a good. Okay, so I'm going to try to. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, then you also have this layer, which is for that. We have this layer, which is for that. And then we have this, which goes on the inside. And I'll show you that. But then we have this adhesive sheet. And adhesive sheets are like the bomb in my mind because you can do so many things with them. And they're hard to remember to use, I think. But you know what? We're going to use one today. So what I'm going to do, first step, is going to stamp on my tissue paper. This is just regular wrapping tissue paper that you would use when you're wrapping presents. Um, it's a single layer. It is um, cut to about four by five and a quarter, um, just so that it's a little bit bigger than that one, the white, the white piece that becomes the card base. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get my Blackberry Bliss ink. I'm gonna grab my stamp. I'm gonna put this back up here. And I'm gonna go just and stamp random off the paper, on the paper twirling the paper, twirling my, I'm going to do this, twirling my hand, twirling my paper. Okay, I'm going to try something and we'll see what we think. Oh, and twirling the stamp. So tissue paper is, it doesn't matter what side you stamp on, it's going to be fine. And it doesn't matter what side you put onto your cardstock either. Okay, so that's perfect. I love it. It's it's random. It's not too thought out. So I'm going to go ahead and just let that rest for a minute. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the inside because I've got this already inked up. So I'm going to go ahead and just add that to my inside because, you know, I've got a stamp on the inside too. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean it with my chamois. I'm done with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab, I didn't even say, this is Nature's Prints Bundle. It's in the annual catalog. It is, um, 
I should have put the page 91, I think. Anyway, it comes with dies. The bundle comes with all of this. And we're going to use mostly the stamps and then this die to cut out our greeting. This stamp is one of my favorites. And it's kind of crazy because I don't even like ferns and things. But I do like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the smaller of my basic white. This is cut to two and three quarters. No, I, I lied. Two and a half by three and a half. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this right in the center. Pull that up. Now, if you like that crisp white image, keep it like that for goodness sakes. If you smear anything on it, the best part about this stamp set is that there's this um, lobby thing. And that's a technical term, the lobby thing. And you can hide any imperfections. So let's say I have ink on my fingers and I smeared it or something. And so it's not really a mistake. You don't really have to panic. You can flip it over if you want, but I would also just say it's an opportunity to add some texture. And again, you'll see that I'm switching the direction. I'm using the stamp. I'm stamping off to get that multiple layers of different colors inks. And now I have my, my word, not my word, my focal point on my card. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab best wishes and happy thoughts. And I've already stamped that because I wanted it to dry for a few minutes before I put it through the machine. Just because Rich Razzleberry, this, or Blackberry Bliss, this, this color is uh, my nemesis, my nemesis? No, I can't even say. It is not my friend. It makes a mess no matter what I do. So that is why I'm kind of trying to be a little cautious. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my mini um, because it, I wanted to highlight something. A lot of you, um, you know, during celebration, if you join, you can pick out a mini, whether you want blue or white. And I would say go for it because it's a great value. And you also get like $175 of product from the annual, from any catalog that's current, which is amazing if you think about it. And you pay $129. So if you're interested in joining my team, first of all, you got to have your thing up here. Um, you can grab this little, this little guy on the hubby in boho blue, which is a really cute little blue. I don't have a blue one, but that's okay. So it comes with all the plates you need to get going and mine have been loved and used and it has instructions and mine have been loved and used. And what I've learned is that, um, you don't want to cut on the ones with the directions because that's really not the cutting surface, but you want to create an E like this to have the machine grab your um, grab your plates. Because sometimes it doesn't seem like the machine's grabbing the plate that you want, like how you want it to go through. And so people get a little frustrated. So this is a little workaround that Stamping Up just recently shared. And I like to use this post-it note tape I found on Amazon. It's super skinny. I just put it right there. I like to move my dies around so that they're um, not cutting on the same place. And because I have that E, if you think about it, an E, there's two tops in the middle. I just grabbed it perfectly and you run it through. And then do the magic of life and the big and the machine that is like the biggest thing ever to come out for crafting. I'm going to get rid of that. Now we have our greeting. So I have my tissue paper now that I, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to add this image when I had the ink out. Hello. So sometimes I know I would do it right away because otherwise I forget to do the inside a lot. So I'm going to go ahead Oh, I don't want to make a mess again, but I'm going to. Okay, fine. It's just paper. And so I'm just going to go like that. And then I'm going to grab my envelope that came with my packet and stamp on it like that. Just, you know, it don't send naked envelopes in the mail. That's boring. Let's make the post office want our mail. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this ink pad because it's just going to cause problems. You take your tissue paper that's now dry and squish it. And when I say squish it, I mean really squish it, like really, really squish it tight. But when you unwrap it, that's where you need to be gentle. So 
So what we're going to do, and if you squish it too quickly, you're going to get some um, smears of ink. Like on my sample here, there's like some smears, which adds to the character. It's really not a problem, but it's just something to be, if you, if you don't want ink on your fingers as well. All right. Our adhesive sheets that are in the annual catalog, I cut this to about what I say, four by five and a quarter, and it has different lines or different sections so you can peel it off. And when you peel it off, there's a non-sticky side and a sticky side. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and peel off all of the sections so that all the sheet is sticky and face up. Now, basically this is making a sticker out of the tissue paper because when we're done getting the tissue paper on top, then we're gonna peel off the backing and stick it to the cardstock. So you're gonna go and you're just gonna gently lay that down so that you get that texture. And then we're gonna go ahead, like I said, and we're gonna peel this off. Now, you get a little sticky, you can get a little sticky and that's okay. Because, you know, we all like to get sticky. But now where is that little piece of paper? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I've lost my paper. I always think that I've got this so organized. Okay, so this is our smaller piece of cardstock. Here it is. This is um, cut down to three and three quarters by five. And then this is your typical cardstock layer of four by five and a quarter. So this is gonna be bigger than that. This is that, oh my gosh, the tissue paper is bigger than this cardstock, but that's perfect because that's what we wanna do. We wanna tuck it around there. So when you start pulling off the backing, you're gonna see the glue and the sticky stuff and you just need to do it gently. Um, I don't know what's easier to do it on the, pull the tissue paper, or pull the backing, just gentle, careful. And if you tear it, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna put stuff on top anyway. So then you have that. The other way you can do this if you don't have adhesive sheets, and I just think the adhesive sheets make it just as slick as whatever, you could use Tombow glue or rubber cement to kind of add the, the, the sticky part to the back of your tissue paper. And again, there's not a right or wrong side. It's just whatever side you would choose it. You don't, don't overthink it. So then I got this sticky part and you can kind of see the shine, the sheen, that's the sticky part. And I'm just gonna put this down and not push very hard again. And then I'm just gonna tuck this in because there should be some extra. That's why you want your adhesive sheet to be a little bit larger than your actual cardstock and your tissue paper to be a little bit larger than your actual cardstock. Now, if I didn't layer this on top of white, let's say I put it on this, it's a totally different look, right? And so the reason I put it on white is because I wanted you to be able to see the stamping and the imaging that was so vibrant. And I really just love that tissue paper. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and take a small sampling of this ribbon. It is the gray granite, um, gray granite shimmer ribbon in the annual catalog. And I'm gonna use just plain old fashioned regular tape because I'm not gonna wrap this all the way around. That would be completely silly. So I'm just gonna use my scrap of ink, no, my scrap of ribbon. And I'm not gonna edit this video. This is gonna be like the beginning of my lives. And so therefore I'm gonna screw up. I know it, it'll be fine after all. That's what makes the live so fun. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and, oh gosh hair in there. Someone gets my hair forever. I'm going to add a little bit more adhesive just so it's a little bit more controlled. Now, depending on what kind of adhesive you use, you may want to put the adhesive on your rich, your dark, no, what is it called? Blackberry Bliss. But I'm going to go ahead. That's funny. 
Okay, and I'm just going to add a little bit of Tombow glue. And that's a lot of Tombow glue that I actually added. So that was a little much. But it kind of can give you a little bit of um, leeway so you can kind of move it around. I would like to tuck this in so that you don't see that while it's still wet. I had regular adhesive. I don't think that would work. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's basically the card. We're going to go ahead and add this guy, the focal point. And I'm not sure why I don't have my tools all here. What in the world? And I'm going to pop this one up with some dimensionals. So I'm going to go ahead and I only have little ones right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add kind of a lot of little ones just because I want it to be a solid lifted image because you know how the mail squishes it or a package squishes it. So I'm just going to go like that and do one more towards the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my take your pick tool and grab all these little things because those are garbage because those these two are double sided. Oh, I apologize. I was going to sneeze and I just didn't want to do the hachoo thingy. I don't know why I'm sneezing, probably because I'm doing laundry and that just makes me sneeze. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get all these pieces off and put them in my garbage over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and layer this on there. So if I had ripped the tissue paper at some point, that's kind of where I would lay that on top of, just so that I don't have to be, you know, so blaring aware that I made a mistake. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to just this part because it's already raised, right? This is already raised. So you're going to go ahead and just put some regular whatever adhesive you use for this part. And then you have your card, but we got to bling it up a little bit. And we actually have to put it on our base, our card base. So here we go. And then I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I just love this look and I love the color combos. And we did this in our club last a month or two ago. And what a club is, is that is a group of people who commit to coming to, they might need to be committed. They come to my house to um, learn these kind of techniques and learn how to use the products. And I think that it's a great tool, but I also think with lives and videos, I could teach some of you guys the same kind of fun. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm using the Champagne Rhinestone Basic Jewels, and I'm using my Take a Pick tool. So the Take a Pick tool has a lot of things to go with it, and I had someone ask me about that, so I'll have to do a focus on that. But you can use it to the putty part to pick up an embellishment and control where you're putting it. Or if you don't like that, you can use this part or there's a spatula part. So really it's a great tool. And I would suggest if you're beginning stamping that you get a take a pick tool, 100% needs, you need that and a bone folder. Those are the two primary tools. All right, that's my card. One version, here's another version. Um, it's called Faux Silk. I appreciate you watching. Leave me comments and um, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube live or YouTube. And I will be back on Tuesday. Being it's um, Valentine's Day, I probably won't be live, but I'm going to tease you with it. You don't want to miss it because celebration is still going on. And that is if you order $50, you get something for free. And they just released some more some more, what is that? Some more um, products you can choose for $50 or a hundred. And these two punches you might already have, but if you don't, I'm going to show you how you can get more than what just that shape is. And so that's my goal for next Tuesday. So join and see what kind of, what kind of things do I make with a bird punch, a songbird and an essential tag punch. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'm going to put my camera back on my face for some reason, because why not? 
And I want to thank you for watching and please leave me some comments and ask questions about products or how, what is this tool for? Why did I, why did I buy this Leanne? That would be great to hear those kind of emails and see those kind of questions. Thanks everyone. Wow. Now I'm going to.